It's uh, almost four years since Hurricane Sandy slammed into our island home, devastating communities and destroying houses. As you can see from the home behind me, neighbors are still rebuilding their homes and lives along Hempstead Town's South Shore. Today, I'm proposing a new local law that will streamline the process and reduce the cost of elevating houses for a new wave of homeowners who live in the FEMA flood plain within our township. In the aftermath of Hurricane Sandy, the town waived its building variance requirement to elevate certain homes in compliance with FEMA flood height guidelines. Specifically, homes that were eligible had to meet the following criteria. Subject property had to be within the FEMA floodplain. The home had to have been damaged by Hurricane Sandy, and the waiver applied only to homeowners who owned the home at the time of Hurricane Sandy. Uh, what this new law will do is, uh, since things have changed since Sandy, a new wave of homeowners are looking uh, to elevate their homes. Some neighbors who live in the floodplain but did not experience damage during the superstorm are looking to elevate their homes for insurance purposes, uh, to keep their family safe, and to make their homes more marketable, essentially preparing just in case, God forbid, there should be another uh, storm the size and with the uh, devastation of Hurricane Sandy. Uh, other neighbors bought homes in the flood-prone areas after Sandy and want to elevate their homes as well. Under our proposal, the only prerequisite to elevating your home without the requirement of obtaining a variance is that your home must be in the FEMA flood plain. So we are essentially eliminating the previous requirement that uh, the home had to have been damaged by Hurricane Sandy and you had to have owned the home at the time of Hurricane Sandy. Waiving the variance requirement for home elevations in the floodplain will offer financial savings and reduce the time needed to secure the permits. Fees, legal costs, and other expenses associated with obtaining a variance could easily exceed $1,000. Waiving the variance requirement can save several months off the permitting process. And of course, uh, individuals who want to elevate their homes who, that are located in a FEMA flood plain will be saving a significant amount of money when it comes to obtaining flood insurance. So this is a uh, a win-win for homeowners who do live in the floodplain or who are looking to locate into one of our beautiful uh, South Shore communities that are in the floodplain. There's an opportunity here for people all over and all throughout our communities in the South Shore to invest in their community. There's young families, there's new homeowners, and they want to invest in the communities that they've decided to live in. Because you have a certain height elevation that you're allowed to go to, so if you're at that top peak, I don't have a high peak on my house, but if you did have a high pitch on your roof, at this elevation you would be over that limit and you would have to go for a variance. And like you said, the variance would add cost and time to your process. And not having to go through that, you know, will save people the money and the time. Now we're looking forward. We're looking to make our communities more resilient uh, to the effects of any potential future uh, superstorm. And by basically cutting through the red tape, eliminating the variance requirement, uh, we're not only saving money for homeowners, we are encouraging them uh, to elevate their homes to FEMA standards so that our communities will be more resilient going forward should uh, we get hit by another storm like Sandy.